Welcome back to Think America with Terry Gilbert. You can always find us at thinkamericaradio.com. Subscribe to our podcast and let's hear from you. Up next, Tracy Tim is with us. She is a business coach. She's the creator of the Nth Degree Academy Online on the topic of whether or not employers should allow their employees to come to work in a Halloween costume this year at all. I love this topic, Tracy, and I want to welcome you to the program. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. This is a really fun topic, uh, but also a potentially controversial one. So I appreciate you having me on. Indeed. All right. What is the dress code anyway for Halloween costumes in an office setting, would you say? Yeah. So first and foremost, I know everybody hates this answer, but it, it depends on the culture of said office. Now, I do think that there are very, maybe even ob- obvious minimum when it comes to what is and is not appropriate. And I think that that comes back to anything that wouldn't normally be okay in that particular office setting, Um, meaning, you know, just fundamentally inappropriate in some capacity, not meaning too casual or, or what have you. But uh, but when it comes to deciding what actually is and isn't okay from the perspective of how is this going to land with people, is this really funny, am I stepping over the line, is it offensive, those types of things have to do with each particular culture and each particular company. So if I'm in an office in, let's say, Hollywood or New York that deals with the entertainment industry, is it appropriate for me to... Uh, dress like Linda Carter as Wonder Woman. (laughs) Yeah, I think that, like I said, the fundamental sort of uh, lowest bar, I would say, is if you wouldn't normally wear it to work, meaning if you're showing things that you wouldn't normally show or if skirts are higher than they would normally be or what have you, you know, if there's a real, uh, you know, reason for you to not be wearing that because it just is fundamentally inappropriate that's one thing but i think the bigger question is are we are we offending people are we thinking maybe too much are we too worried about offending people um i think the bigger conversation is about pc (laughs) level costumes as opposed to i think that we can hopefully in today's world and in a in a professional setting and in a professional environment you wouldn't wear something that hr would get upset about Well, I ask you that one because it is sexual in nature. She had a beautiful figure when she played Wonder Woman. Um, But I ask that because if I did that, I could be either, and we've never met in person, I could have a beautiful figure or not, (laughs) or not. And what's good for me, let's say I'm 300 pounds and I come as Linda Carter, you would probably say that's inappropriate. But what if I look like Linda Carter? You could also say that's inappropriate. It goes to this, I guess. Is it smart to ever have Halloween in the workplace (laughs) with costumes? Yeah, you know, I think that there's a case to be made for maybe the more risk averse among us and certainly people in HR who are always looking to lower their downside, if you will. Uh, that maybe this provides more opportunity for abuse and for potential issues than it provides positive company culture or engagement. Uh, You can certainly make the case for that. But that being said, if you're the kind of company that is relaxed and does like to have fun and wants your people to bring their personalities to work and actually encourages being yourself in the workplace and expressing yourself and that actually being a part of your job and what makes you even better at your job because you're such a great fit for it naturally, then I think there's a chance for a lot of fun here if you do it in the right ways, right? If you do it well, in... Well, it sounds fun. to me that the better course is to march yourself down to HR and ask the HR person with a picture in hand, we all have cell phones, so you can take a quick picture, um, whether or not this is appropriate. And and the reason why I'm, I'm saying that is that that to me sounds like a logical thing to do to have cover before the day on Wednesday, uh, the 31st, I think Halloween falls on a Wednesday. So it's definitely a work day. Um, and it dovetails into this idea, Tracy. Halloween and politics always are in bed together when we have these, every two years when we have congressional races. 
Um, so there's funny Trump masks out there. There's ugly Melania masks out there. There's Hillary masks always. Um, there's going to be Pocahontas masks with Elizabeth Warren. And this is a tradition. So I would think if you wanted to go the political route, which is we're very polarized and it might not be a good idea in some environments, but other environments, it's part of tradition. So you put on the, the goofy Pocahontas mask and somebody might say you're for Elizabeth Warren or if it's an ugly Pocahontas mask, um, you would be against it. But that's hard for HR to say, no, you can't do it because we have this tradition every two years. Mm -hmm. We're down to about two minutes, Tracy. So let me go in this direction and get give us your thoughts on this. Do you think the whole Me Too movement with this uber awareness about sexual behavior in the office has just put the kibosh on fun, particularly Halloween fun? Wow, that's a great question. Um, I think it's certainly heightened awareness of people uh, just in the workplace in general and in professional settings, what is and isn't appropriate, and rightfully so, right? This is a good conversation to be having, and it's important for women to be having and to comment on it as well. Um, but I, I do think you're right. I think that it can get to a point where we are so serious that we, we forget about the levity and we forget to have fun. I think the biggest concern here is that this, you know, Halloween marks the beginning of sort of the holiday season for companies, right? If you have something like a Thanksgiving party and then you have a Christmas party or you have a New Year's party, this is really the first opportunity to have something like that and to have that levity in the workplace. Um, but given what's going on this year, I mean, if you're a woman and you dress in something, you know, scantily clad for Halloween at your office, like, what are you asking for? Well, it, so it sounds to me like um, going to HR is a prudent thing to do ahead of time. Tracy Tim, double M, T-I-M-M, -M, is a business coach and the creator of Nth Degree Academy Online. You can find her there, tracytim.com as well. Take care.